How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the shed for another episode. In tonight's video, we'll be doing a little bit of electronic bench testing. The board you see in front of you is my Messi board. It is a Mesa Electronics Smart Serial Interface Board that allows me to connect Smart Serial Donner boards to my main FPGA controller. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the PCB. On this end of the board, you can see I have a RJ45 connector with two LEDs. The green LED will flash during data transmission and the yellow LED will be illuminated when a daughter board is properly connected. On the opposite end of the board, we have a six pin terminal connector. We have ground, power, UPDI, PA3, TX, and RX. PA3 is a spare GPIO from the LED controller and UPDI allows me to program that controller. The board offers reverse polarity protection as well as an onboard buck boost converter so it can be powered via 3.3 volts or 5 volts respectfully. We also have an integrated DIN rail mount thanks to the Phoenix Contact 35mm DIN rail mount. This should make it really easy to install on any of our electrical enclosures. Let's go ahead and reinstall this board in our test rig and get to bench testing. Alright, now that we have the messy board reinstalled in our test rig, we can go ahead and go over everything we're going to use for tonight's bench testing. Our main FPGA controller is this Mesa Electronics 7i92. We have a 5 volt power supply to power all the equipment. Three of our messy boards. Our smart serial daughter board is a Mesa Electronics 7i73. We're going to be playing with a 20 by 4 LCD, a mains SSR, two input switches, a mains LED indicator lamp, an e-stop switch, and an MPG rotary encoder. Go ahead and start the screen capture software on Linux CNC. The first thing I think we're going to test is going to be the yellow indicator light for each of the messy boards. As soon as I wire this Ethernet cable from the smart serial board to the messy board, the yellow LED should illuminate. And it does. Let's test the next two. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and leave it connected there. And when I launch Linux CNC, the green LED should flash, letting us know there's data transmission. Perfect. Let's go ahead and close Linux CNC, and when I do so, the flashing should cease. And it does. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my any file, change the address for my messy board. Save that. Relaunch Linux CNC. Perfect. The green LED is flashing on that board as well. Close Linux CNC. And it stops. Test the last board. Change our address. Save it and launch Linux CNC. And the green LED is flashing, letting us know we have data transmission. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it connected there. And I can already see, hopefully you guys can see on the camera, that the DRO LCD screen is working as intended. So let's go ahead and test everything else. So the first thing I'm gonna test is gonna be our e-stop. Perfect. When I throw an e-stop, everything triggers exactly as I expected to. Let's open up show how. Try that again. Perfect. All right, so next I'm gonna test my probe switch. This input is for probe, this input is for cycle start. The probe input is working. We can test the missed output, which is controlling this relay, which will turn the mains LED indicator lamp on. It does. Go ahead and home the machine and we should be able to test the rotary encoder. I can see the DRO is updating. Does it update when I use the keyboard? And indeed it does. Perfect. Let's go ahead and touch off. 
and then we can test our final switch. And this switch here is for our cycle start. Perfect, it's working exactly as I'd expect. All right, so that first messy board is past all the tests I have on my test rig. Let's go ahead and stop the G-code. Send the machine back to home. Close Linux CNC. Update the address in my file. Save. Move our cable. And test everything all over again. First thing we're going to test is the e stop. Works exactly as it should. Next up, the probe input. That's working. Let's go ahead and Test our output and our rotor encoder. Test our DRO by jogging the machine around with a keyboard. That works as intended. We're going to touch off here. and test our cycle start. Excellent. All right, I know this is a little boring for some people, but we only have one card left. So let's go ahead and stop the G-code. Return the machine to home. Close out Linux CNC. Update our card's address for one last time. We're gonna move our ethernet cable to our last card and launch Linux CNC. And we're going to run the exact same tests. First up, the e-stop switch. Perfect. The probe input. Encoder. Jog the machine with the keyboard, double check the DRO is updating as it should on the LCD screen. And it appears to be doing exactly what you would expect. Touch off the machine here. And we can test our final switch. Cycle start. Awesome. Everything is working exactly as I would hope. That's all I have wired in for our test rig tonight. So I can't do too much testing. But for basic communication with the Smart Serial Daughter Board and our main FPGA controller, everything is looking really good. Let's go ahead and return the machine to home. Close out Linux CNC and the LED should stop flashing. Awesome. All right, so that's going to be it for tonight. Hopefully some of you found that interesting. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching. Going handheld for a second. Hopefully you can get a better view of the LCD screen. It's just so bright. I'm not sure how to get that on camera. Yeah, which way when you jog the hand wheel. It updates.